why do I continue to do it despite the circumstances of like what people might think? I've had people literally in Venice Beach walk by and laugh at me. <laughs> like, do you think you can make money off that? There's a breaking point with everything. You keep doing it, it may not be making you money, but you keep doing it. Eventually, there's a point where that's gonna happen. As a miner, you just keep chucking at that wall and you keep doing that one thing. Behind it, somewhere behind it, there's gonna be diamonds and gold, man, just flowing out. It terrifies me sometimes to put myself out there, not knowing what people are gonna say or, or how they're gonna judge me. Or maybe put a piece of tissue in my bucket. I am the one who's stopping myself from just doing it full time. I am the obstacle. I'm the one who's still literally holding on to a day job. It's the fear that if I did do it full time, that I'm not gonna be able to make it. Why don't I just follow what I love? Why don't I just do that? Hey, how's it going? If you don't mind, I'm gonna ask for a minute of your time. My name is Ernest, I am a professional yo-yo player and I'm about to put on an amazing yo-yo show. I wanna ask you, what is the most famous yo-yo trick you know? Khan. I am 27 years old. I um, am from the Philippines and uh, I am a professional yo-yo. I'm from a family of 10, um, so 10 kids. I have two parents. Um, I would say I was around maybe 11 or 12 and uh, the story there goes I was just really into yo-yos and um, my, my father brought uh, me and my two younger brothers to one of the, the malls in the Philippines. As a young kid, I had to like beg my dad, like, dad, please, please just buy this for me and I will, I'll be the best son ever. It was, it was just one of those things that brought me happiness and joy every time I played with yo-yos. And uh, the rest is history, basically. Now put your hands together for Ernest Kill! still play with a toy, have a good time, and make people have a good time too. One-all-be-all type of things. You know, you, you, touch, you have a yo in your hand, you've been doing it for quite some time. There's clearly opportunity, you know? A lot of the relationships I've been in, a lot of the jobs I've ever had, yo-yoing has opened that door that I thought would never be open. You ask nothing from it, but it keeps on giving. And that's how you know, like, this is, this is something that I should continue to do. Because it's, it's like you, you're destined to fulfill this, like, like, legacy with it. Like, that's how I see it. After graduating in the Philippines, and this is, you know, this is the truth. I didn't know what I was going to do with my life. I started working retail for Louis Vuitton at the time. It came to a point a few months where the CEO of Louis Vuitton was going to visit the store in the Philippines. It was his first time visiting. And I was just a part-time associate. I was a nobody. My store manager mentioned that we have this part-time associate who's a professional yo-yo player. And the CEO wanted to meet me. They mentioned to me, hey, we've been looking for you. We're trying to reach you. We're trying to call you. The CEO is here right now. He wants to see you for fun. I didn't have anything with me. So I, I, I talked to one of my colleagues who I work with. And he's like, just, just wear my suit. So I, wear, well, I wore his suit and everything like that. I didn't even have my necktie. I left it out. But I did have yo-yos in my back. I, I come out and I shake his hand and it's, it's on. You know? I didn't have any music, nothing. But I present, I do the yo-yo and everything. And Marvelous. Amazing. After showing him the performance, he puts his arm around me, and after he put his arm around me, he said, I will help him. I helped him. And the company made me a yo-yo. I'm, I'm one of the only people on this planet with a Louis Vuitton yo-yo. 
you know, I am eternally grateful. That is like one of the highlights that has ever happened in my life. I'm just a part-time associate, and this is the CEO of the company, like one of the most luxurious companies in the world, and he, he wants to have a photo with me. So just put that into perspective. It's like all of a sudden someone all the way up here and someone over here, all of a sudden you meet, you literally meet halfway with that person. And it's, it's like we are both human, we are, we are both the same, there's no difference. What drove me to want to move out was the opportunity of being able to make it. And what I mean by make it is be self-reliant. I moved out to push myself because I want to be able to push myself to to be all that I am, because I'm capable of that. If life was always gonna be that easy, it wouldn't be worth living. I would've gave up a lot sooner. If, if I can make it out here living in San Francisco, then I know, I'm, I know I can start my own thing. I am a born entrepreneur, like for sure. It's just, I need to own it. Some days it pays off, some, some days it doesn't. I mean, if it's a rainy day, it's gonna be hard for me to, to fill the bucket with anything, really. Maybe water. If I improve this, there's gonna be more people. Five, four, three, two, one. We have liftoff! Drives the fire. It's, it's, yeah, like I said, it's the love, you know. Um, how I see it is when I street perform, something inside of me comes out and it's and it's all of a sudden like i am burning bright i'm like literally like i am on fire so so i stand there i present myself i do my show i bring the fire and they all want to be a part of it remind them to go do something that they love to do so that their lights st stop flickering and burn bright just like mine never done it before I've never seen anyone do it before but I'm just gonna try my best every time I perform outside something new is gonna come out people want to be able to see that you know they want to be able to see all these different styles of yo-yoing <laughs> I hope that they get inspired to go do something that they love to do. Despite the money, despite everything else, just for the sake of doing it.